Welcome back to another video about tips for the average guy. All right. So today we're discussing saying it with your chest. Okay. So as a man, we command a certain level, or we should command a certain presence, respect, and I want to say fear, okay? All these things can be enhanced if you follow the actual last three tips. If you're in the gym, you know, working out three times a week, 40 minutes each session, if you are controlling uh, the appropriate times to speak, Adding that shroud of mystery to you, adding suspense to you, your aura, essentially, and you are speaking with your chest. That means to speak firmly, speak powerfully. And it really goes back to say what you mean and mean what you say when we say speak with your chest, right? And as men, I know this can be very difficult sometimes because when we're engaging, especially with women, right? We tend to hold back a lot of our power. If you're a guy and you hold back a lot of your power, leave a comment in the description. Let me know I'm on to something. Let me know that I'm, I'm not crazy, right? I got a hair out. Y'all need to tell me I got a hair out? That's crazy. Anyways, so yeah. Say it with your chest. Speak confidently. Speak boldly. Speak proudly. Make it come from a place of, of what you mean what you're saying, right? Get it across so that the other person actually feels it. Mm -hmm. This also has to do with like not holding your tongue in a lot of situations, speaking up when you should, and knowing not to speak. Going back to the last tip, knowing not to speak. So I want to say the tenets of speaking with your chest, because we're going to get into communication and all that anyway, right? Being articulate, knowing when to speak, speaking boldly, loudly, proudly, doing vault doing uh, tonal inflections when you need to. That's extremely important. We'll have a tip for that as well. <clears throat> Just overall, uh, not holding yourself back as a man. Because as a man, we, we generally have uh, more deep voices, voices that carry, voices that are supposed to be, you know, yelling at kids, children, or hell, even other grown men, right? If you're in a place of, if you're in a position of power, you're going to need a strong voice. Think about the time when you was a kid and you was running amok. The house was dirty. Dishes wasn't clean. Your room was nasty. But that door opened around, um, what time did parents come? That door opened around 7 o'clock. You heard your dad step in. Clean that room, boy. Deep voice. And you immediately, what did you do? You went to go either clean your room. Clean the downstairs or hide or act like you were asleep. You did something. I know I know you, we respected our fathers, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the kind of presence you want to have as a man 24-7. 24-7. You want to be not in dad mode per se, but man mode or guy mode or whatever you want to call it. Man. Okay? So, that is the third tip. I hope you guys are keeping up, following along. Let me know if there's a tip you guys have that you'd like my opinion on and how I would um, speak on it or vocalize or whatever. And yeah, just, just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay in the gym, babe.